Hello everybody, this is Mike Dune II, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Cloud 2. Now right now we're in the first part of the dungeon again, because I didn't actually want to do it like that. Let me collect all these before I kill this clown. I want you guys to pay attention to the abs, the, you know, the, the, blue, the blue level on my wrench right now. Look at how much that's going up right now, okay? Not that much, okay? And I want you to see that I have upgraded this thing to level 10. Yeah, I got tons of Zinth points and I plan on upgrading it right now. So to show you guys that I'm upgrading it, true battle wrench, boom. And there we go. This is the true battle wrench. Now I want you to show, show you my classic gun. It's only at level 4, not too good much. So I'm actually going to kill uh, this rat right here just to show you guys that, you know, it, it has a decent amount of experience that it gets up. Oh hey, I got the handle too. Nice. Can finish this really fast. Okay. So I hope you paid attention to that. Now I want you to see how much abs, or not, yeah, abs points that the hammer gets. Yeah, it gets a lot right now. So it is easier to level up your weapon when you, um... Every time you build up your weapon, yes, at first it is very easy to level it up, but that's why, especially at the beginning of the game, you want to focus on getting your hands on more of the uh, levels at the very beginning. Because right now it does, it's not at 10 anymore because we built it up, it's back at level... Uh, I don't know if it counts as 1 or... I don't I don't actually know if it starts at 0 or 1 for this, the Battle Wrench level. So, yeah. We can actually find out, actually, because it'll be pretty easy to get this up. But yeah, it's just a point to be made that you can get a hell of a lot more Zinth points if you decide to level up more at the beginning of the game. And trust me, later on in the game, it is going to be very necessary. Okay, so after, so it goes 0-1, okay. I don't know if technically the thing itself counted as 1. So here is all the equipment I got. By the way, I tried doing a video of this yesterday, so if I sound like I'm repeating certain things, it's only because I did a video yesterday. I had to scrap it because something big popped up, and yes. So I got three of these battle wrenches again, I'm probably just going to sell them when I get the chance. Uh, you can equip them, so, and if you want to figure out which weapon is yours, it will actually have, as you can see here, the plus one, or the number one level, or whatever that it's trying to say. So, there we go. Now this thing, as I've said before, does build up into the drill wrench, but as I just said a second ago, you want to take the longer route so you can get more Zinth points. So, good to know. And also, we have all of the crystals that you can get. As if you look over here, there is ten different ones. One, two, three, four, five, times ten equals ten. And here they all here. Now, the two ones that might seem a little bit different are going to be the Protect Crystal, which is Durable, and the Power Crystal, which is uh, Strength, Attack Power. Now, when you spectrumize these two, they actually only count for two compared to everything else, which will be a three for it. So, just so you guys know. And also, I got my hands on something interesting here. The Indestructible Coin. I am so happy I got this. These are incredibly rare. I found it in one of the Do You Want to Force It chest. And yes. Now this coin, Indestructible, is symbol solidity. Solidity. This thing will sell for a lot of money, but you don't want to do that. Spectrumize the coin, put it into the weapon you know you're going to be using through the rest of the game, or put it on a weapon that you know you're going to put it into something, because you can synth weapons into each other in this game, and use it. I, I'm going to be using this hammer for sure, so I just want to show you guys. Boom. And now it has the durable ability. This is how abilities work in this game. I am not sure if some weapons come with the durable... I don't, I don't know if weapons come with abilities in this game, but I do know for sure that they come with coins. And just like the last thing, game, there are some uh, coins that kind of go against each other. In this game, there's a critical strike and a kind of... A critical strike coin, which means you every once in a while you get a critical hit. And then there's another one that does more damage, but at the cost of your health every time you hit an opponent. And you can't have both on at the same time. So, just wanted to get that out of the way. Uh, it's funny because when I originally played the game a long... When I played my first... Uh, when I did Dark Cloud Let's Play, I talked about how one of the times I played the game Durable was my very first uh, weapon I got when I replayed Dark Cloud, which was incredibly hard to find throughout the game in itself. So, getting my hands on that was just hilariously awesome. But uh, that wasn't during the Let's Play, too. That was just without it. When I tried doing this Let's Play in the past, I got this thing in the second dungeon, the Indestructible Coin. But here, I got it in one of my very first, you know, hard-to-get chests. So, you know, it's kind of a reference to, you know, an old playthrough of mine. And I really do, not really, you know, not really a reference from the game itself. But to me, it's just something that means a lot to get the durable at the beginning of the game. And here's the Power Crystal again. So, I think it's really awesome. And now, uh, I will probably cut until when I finish this dungeon. So, I will be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I am back. Now, I didn't really say this, because I said this in the last video, but, uh, or I said this in the in the video that failed, but I would at least recommend getting up your weapons to level 5 before you build them up. Just do that. Now, if you're going to synth weapons into each other, which I will talk about in the future, but if you do decide to do that, you need to go up to level 5. 
Oh, and I already got this uh, medal up here by accident. Yeah, my bad. Uh, you get them when you leave the dungeon. So if you start the level, if let's say you beat all the monsters. Oh, no, you, you only have to clear the level, actually. I'm wrong. So basically you have to... Um, I don't know if you have to defeat all the monsters or not. I don't think you... Oh, no. Total monsters defeated. Clear all without healing. Okay, I think you just need to defeat as many monsters as you can. But basically when you do that, all you have to do is... Um, just beat the level without healing. Now you have to leave the level without healing is the best way to say it. But since I got that out of the way, I do want to save. So, uh, yeah, I built up before, so I did a little bit more building up. When I did the Let's Play, uh, when I tried doing this yesterday, I got it to level 9 on the wrench, but now I'm at level 10. Don't feel like you have to go that high in levels to get Zinth points, but again, level at the beginning of the game, it's very easy to, so take advantage of it. So now it's time to go in the channel pump room and expand the plot. You know, running through here, seeing Donnie and stuff, you know, that's been fun, but... What's all this? Well, it did say Channel Pump Room on the outside. Donnie, I've come into a big chamber. There are what look like tanks everywhere. Ah, that'll be the pump room. The pumps in there are used to draw water from the lake on the outside. You're not far from the outside now. Gotcha. Thanks, Donnie. You gotta keep going. Yep. Almost there. Now, I just wanted to be told I am not actually controlling Max right now. I don't know if there's actually anything up there you can explore. You never really decide to do it. Holy crap. The? It's the tattooed elephant. Lovely. No, you didn't. What? What do you know about my mother? <laughs> what if I did know something? If you want to know more, give me that red stone. I've got plenty to tell you. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna have to flip a coin. You know what? Well, no, no way. I'll find my mother myself. I don't need help from anyone like you. You stinking brat! You will regret this, I guarantee! Take care of them, my darling Linda! Okay, guys, this is our first mini-boss. Alrighty then, so I'd recommend actually staying back and using your gun to... Oh, crap. Well, I didn't really level it up that much. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna have to use my hammer. What? Okay, okay, level 5. You know, I grinded for a bit. I don't know if you guys saw the, the, the save screen, but I grinded for like a good few hours. You know, maybe a good hour and a half on this game. Not really hours, but hour and a half on this game. And holy fuck. You know, I'm not doing anything yet. Like, are you telling me I need to go back and grind for like three hours? You know, level five, I love your games and stuff, but, you know, grinding, that's just, that's kind of important. I, you know, kind of important in an RPG, but not mandatory. Come on. Well, this is bullshit. Oh, wait. Fading out? Oh, so it was supposed to be that way? Oh, my bad. Sorry, level five. Hope you still love me. Now then, Max, what will it be? Ah. Well, we're boned. Uh -oh. What the hell? What? Max, you all right? It's me, Cedric. You finally completed the ride pod. Damn, that thing looks bitching. Yep, I named it Steve. I'm still working out the bugs, but it's got plenty of punch. Okay, so just to say, uh, some people think this is a reference to Steve from Dark Cloud 1. Um, I do not know if they, if both this Rypod in the Japanese version and Steve, uh, Steve in, uh, Dark Cloud 1 share the same name. If so, it might be a reference, but if not, it, Steve could also be a reference just to the translation of Dark Cloud 1 from the, the people who translated Dark Cloud 2, so just to point that out. Holy shit. Ah, da, 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 da. Fucking A. Beat the shit out of that thing. That's a 
amazing, Cedric. <laughs> My sweet Linda couldn't compete with this one. Oh, come on, that's cheating. Alrighty then. Huh? What the? Error 404, punch not found. Well, what's wrong? Hmm. Actually, I didn't finish that energy backpack yet. I don't think she can handle any more fighting for now. Hop in, Max. Get on? But it can't move. Don't you worry about that. There's enough juice to get us back. Come on, get in. You know, and they're not going to do anything right now while we're waiting. Running away, eh? Linda, get them! Jesus, that thing can jump. And they don't chase after them. Okay, can I just say something here? That's just really poor uh, voice acting, in my opinion. Like, not voice acting, but just they really didn't match the voice actor with the character there. You know, what poor sports? You know, it seems like in... I don't know, but I think in Dark... I think in the Japanese version, I think they focused more on him being a joke than a threat. And in, in the translation, they wanted him to be a threat. So, but it just... it doesn't match. That's, a, that's probably one of the few complaints I have on some of the voice acting in this game. There's something else I complain about later, but... I'll get to that when we get to that. Everybody else sounds good, though. <laughs>